what's up guys welcome to this new video as i mentioned in the last video this weekend so today i know it's just friday but i want to be early so you get your videos as fast as possible a new tutorial about a very awesome transition in this case the rgb shake glitch transition but before we are going to the tutorial i want to say thank you because i got great response to my LumaFusion Ultimate Bundle. A lot of people have downloaded it. If you haven't checked it out yet, just follow the link up there. <laughs> uh, not up there, just up there. And um, check it out. There are free samples in my Selfie store. So you, if you want to um, know what you are getting, just download the LUTs, the sound pack, whatever you want to check out. There are also some transitions and effects you can download for free. So if you don't want to spend some money, it's for you. And because I know not all of you have the capability to spend money for something like that. But therefore I create all the tutorials so you can create your own presets for it um, and be creative yourself. Of course, the transition we are creating in this tutorial will also be added to my transition and my LumaFusion Ultimate bundle. So if you're lazy, you can just download it via the bundles. And if you already have downloaded the bundles, one of the bundle, just download it again and you get uh, the new transition with it because it's lifetime free updates. But now let's jump into LumaFusion. We are on LumaFusion now and as you can see we have two clips in our timeline. We want to create a transition in between. Therefore, double tap the first clip. Go to Color and Effects and to the last frame by tapping the button. Now go to the water drop over there and add Swish 1 as an effect. Add a keyframe and set the radius to about 25 to 30 and the angle to 90 degrees. So like this. Now move back one frame, add a keyframe and set radius to zero. So we avoid the effect on all the frames except the last one. Now go back to your timeline. The next step is to cut a six frame clip of the second clip so like this we are choosing the six frame clip in this case because we are using a 30 fps timeline and if you have a different frame rate which you can see in the top line of the project next to your project name um, you have to adjust the length of the clips and the keyframes to your speed. So if you have 60 frames per second timeline, just duplicate, uh, just double all the speeds. So, you, so your speed is matching my speed. But now double tap to edit, go to frame and fit, go to the first frame, add a keyframe and set the size to 106 like this. Then move on two frames and set position X and position Y to 5. As we have done this, add or move on two more frames, add a keyframe and set size to 103 and position X and position Y to minus 3. Then go to the last frame and set every settings in position X and position Y as well as size back to zero. So 
So size back to 100. Now go back to your timeline, select the six frame clip, open the toolbox and clone it. So you have two clips above each other. We are doing this to get the RGB glitch effect. Now double tap it. And as you can see, every setting is copied too. So we have the same settings in the clip down beneath. So every keyframe has been cloned as well, which is great. What we have to do now is add four points to the size at every keyframe. The easiest will be just follow my example. So in this case, the first frame was 106 in the size and we have to choose 110. The second keyframe is also 106 and we have to choose what we said 110. The third keyframe is 103, add 4, so 107. And the last keyframe was 100, so now 104. The last step is go to the color and effects tab, color and presets, and adding the blue wash. Now we have to adjust it a little bit so we're getting a good result. Therefore, set the brightness to 0 0.24 so like this set the contrast to 1.79 so we're getting very dark areas and light areas and then finally add green to 1.33 so we are getting a bluish turquoise look. Then the next step is go to the keyers and add the blue screen keyer. We are adding this keyer to get rid of the dark areas. In this case, as you can see, everything is away, so we have, don't have a second clip right now because it's black. To get a nice result, you should, if you are copying my colors, add the following color to your um, keyer. Therefore, just choose the color and type in the following. 0, E, 1, a, A, 2, 6. And we are getting a very dark bluish color as a key color. Now we have to play around with the Kia settings until we get a result we want to have. Therefore, we have to set the brightness, not the U, to 42.6. As you can see, there's nothing happening right now, but don't worry. Then set the saturation to 53 and the brightness very low to 20.1 or 20 until we get nice light areas or bright areas and the dark areas are keyed away. And this is it. Now, if you go back to the timeline and play it back, we get a very nice RGB glitch effect with a lot of shake movement. So guys, this was the um, transition tutorial. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you do so, give thumbs up and subscribe to my channel so you won't miss any video in future. And we see each other next time, guys. Bye.